Okay, so what we're going to do now is transform this garden. This garden, we used to put our vegetables in there, tomatoes, peppers, all that stuff, but these abervitae behind it grew way too tall, and it's kind of shading this garden, and it's kind of turning the, 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 the soil a little acidy. Maybe the pH is off some, so the vegetables aren't growing as good back here anymore. So we're moving our vegetables up to our planter on our deck, and I think what I'm gonna do here is maybe make this all sunflowers because it does get afternoon sun right here. It doesn't get any morning sun, but it gets the afternoon sun. Either all sunflowers or all milkweed for um, the monarch butterfly. So I think that's gonna be really neat. So that's our project now. So if you remember from one of my prior videos, we put acorns in here from a white oak tree. And what I'm doing now is I'm re-transplanting these white oak seedlings into pots and then I'm going to till all this. I already started back here. I already started tilling this. But I got to get all these trees out of here into some pots. And if you look here, this is what I've been doing so far. Check this out. So I'm putting them into pots. These are definitely the oak trees. This one is still connected to the actual acorn, which is pretty cool. But you can see the texture and what these look like. Now these trees were also growing in the garden. And I didn't have the heart to kill them. I think what these are, are this tree right here, a birch tree. It's just a common birch tree, but it's one of the biggest birch trees I've ever seen. I can't even get my arms around the trunk of that tree. So I think these are some seedlings from that tree. So I'm gonna keep them. Uh, maybe if somebody wants one, we'll, we'll give them away or something, or I'll put them somewhere. I don't really have a need for a birch tree, but, but they're pretty. Um, but we're gonna get the oak trees and take a look here. If we have enough light, what I'm doing is just getting some of the pots. I always save my pots, and I wanted you to look at this, this oak tree right here. So try to get up close to this. So this is what's above ground, right there. That little oak tree. And it is 20 inches down. I've been digging and digging, trying to get down in that hole down there to get the tap root. An oak tree grows one main root straight down. That's how it finds its uh, soil, uh, the water in the soil, and keeps itself from falling over. That's why oak trees, are they live so long. They're a slow-growing tree, but that taproot, I've been digging, digging, and I'm going to try to get that out of there. So, it's almost out. So, I've been taking my time, and I want to get as much of it as I can. It still has some of the hair roots on the sides. I'm getting down to some really rocky stuff now. It's almost like I need a post hole digger for this. But I'm gonna pull it out nice and slow because it's almost at the end uh, and it snapped. Okay, so that's what we got right there. But you can see some of the some of the hair roots that are still on it, and that's your main tap root from this oak tree. So with what I did with all these is I just put it down in the pot here, and I kind of just curl it around, which isn't a good thing. For, for an oak tree to be curled up, the tap root to be curled up, but that's what we gotta do to get them out of here, into a new home. So I'm gonna put some of this dirt on there, and I got a couple more to get out of this garden. Try to keep them nice and straight. Hopefully he lives. This one was pretty long. That's because he was in this corner where it was really wet. It was really wet here, so this one here grew as straight as he could get down straight down he was 20 inches down in there but we'll give him enough soil here and let's try to look at another one real quick i got some right here now you can see in here it's hard to see where he is but i always i put him in between my two poles so look at this little tiny sucker look at that that's a that's an oak tree right there from last year now i marked off in between this one this little twig, this little seedling, but that to me looks like a birch tree again. So the birch tree there, and this one is definitely an oak. Look at this bad boy in here. I'll just take this off because we're gonna dig this one up. But look at that. Look at that stem. How look how look how hard that is. We're gonna dig this one up. Alright, so here's my pot over here. I save everything. We'll get a scoop of this loose stuff for the bottom. And 
I'm just going to make a circle around them. I know they grow straight down. Some other trees have roots that grow out completely to the sides and you'll end up chopping the roots as you make your little circle around them. But I know oak trees go straight down. So look at that. No roots yet. That thing is going straight down. So we'll keep going. And I'm breaking up the soil as it's going around. And we'll try to follow where those roots are going, which angle. Okay, so it looks like it's going that way. So we're going to shift over this way a little bit. Nice and easy. See, here's a little hair root right here coming off. You can't, you don't want to break those because that's what brings in the water and everything. So try to hold on to them. We've got a root going off to the right. This one, this one's doing pretty good. It's actually uh, spreading out some roots and we're going to move them. Right when he found a good home, he thought. And there's the tap root going straight down this way. Wow, look at that. Look how far down that one's going. Let's try to get this root that's going off to the side real quick. Can you see this one here? Going off to the side. Here's your main root going down this way, but the side one's coming over here. Still going down. Okay, so this one turned, and now he's going straight down. All right, we got him. Look at that. Got that one. All right, now this one's going this way. Where'd you go? There you go. Ooh, baby. Look at that. Got some nice roots on that one. So let's put some wet dirt in the bottom of this. And you can see how I'm going to have to flim flam this without snapping it. He's not going to be in the center of the pot. It's just too big. Push it down in there. No air pockets. Bam. Okay. This is phase one. I'm going to finish finding all the little trees. Get them potted. Get them out of here. We'll come back. We'll till this up. And, uh... We'll make a decision if this is going to be sunflowers or milkweed. We grabbed 10 oak trees and these are white oak trees. These came off of that big white oak tree down there. These are actually the acorns from that tree and I took six of the birch trees. So when we come back, I got a cool little gadget to get this all dug up. Alright, so that's it. Stay tuned. Part 2 coming up.